Chris here with Amitan Quads. Just want to go over uh, helping you guys get in the cam on the uh, Armadillo. I've noticed that uh, a couple of guys have struggled with this, and the first time I've assembled this, I've had the same problem too, where you try to put the cam braces in there and then from there push the camera in there and then try to get the cam plate on top. Uh, it starts to feel like you're trying to build a house of cards in front of a fan because everything just will not stay in place. So the idea is to mount your, right like this, mount your cam braces to the camera first. Uh, this frame comes with two little bolts there, M2s, that will secure to the cam. And then you can insert your sunk nuts at the back here. All right, get that ready, but do not put the sunk nuts, that, uh, sorry, the thumb screws in yet. So we can do that later once it's all in there and then go later and put your uh, these ones these guys on so we do this now we've already got the two uh, plates secured on the camera and the way this is designed is so that it's actually tight in there you don't want to have uh, the camera moving in fact you're able to build this without even using these bolts here and the camera will still stay in there it's not going to pop out but uh, I would recommend using the bolts just to be sure and also for ease of assembly quite obviously so what you do is you do this and then you just bend it like this a little bit make sure the bottom is a little bit skinnier because as I said it's tight so it's going to be a little bit tight in there and then you just drop that in there and you will feel it when it goes into the hole and you may need to use a screwdriver or something on this side just push it into its groove that's it it's in I believe it's all in and then you go ahead and put on the top plate go ahead and put that on like this now I won't want to go in there it's tight and just use something push it back up a little bit towards its groove clicks in there you go we're done then you can then secure this bolt almost all the way see I'm all the way now just go back a little bit on this side none of these bolts are loosened on this side this bolt is barely loosened this bolt is loosened quite a bit and this bolt was loosened quite a bit and then as soon as I pop that in there just almost secure that all the way just leave it out a little bit and then from there nothing will fall out of there so you can go ahead at any point in time remove this plate or put it back on let's say you had a race you need to swap your VTX it's actually quite quick you would all only need to, to undo this bolt and this bolt here and not undo just loosen it a bit and loosen this guy just even less and just pop that plate out take your VTX out put a new one on put the plate back on and it goes on like so I don't like that there you go it's popped in and I can secure this bolt here all the way in I can now secure this bolt all the way in and then if I want to fit the LED or the VTX adapter I can just pop that in there so it'll, it'll go in just a little bit of bending and there you go I can now secure this and we're done another tip that I would give with this uh, is once once the plates are on like this you can actually see where the wires should go so for somebody who builds this and only looks at the pads on the PDBs and goes ahead and install the motors install the ESC solve it at the PDB there are very good chances that by the time you go and put your side plate your wires are going to not gonna they're gonna interfere here the wire might be too far right for example for that pad here so it's something that you need to keep in mind uh, and what I would recommend is use a little bit of paint pen, put a little bit of paint pen, put the plate on the side, put a little bit of paint pen where your wires are supposed to be on each side and then from there sample your stuff, put that on together. Alright, this is a video response to Joshua Bardwell's review of this frame. I want to say a big thanks to you Joshua for uh, being, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, for being uh, very objective in your reviews one of these things where you, when we send something to you uh, we need to know that it's good or else you're just not going to 
fluff it up for, for anyone. You're pretty objective in your reviews. But the problems that you've had when assembling this are very similar to the issues that I, I mentioned I've had originally with this, where I would try to push the camera on there would work, and then the issue with the wires not lighting up with the side plate, and then a little trick to get the cam in there, and while being able to remove this plate anytime you want. Like so, for example, I just loosen that up a little bit like this, and I can just pop my side plate right up, access my VTX. My cam will fall out, nothing like that. And then go back in, put my plate back on. Okay, literally, that took me about 15 seconds here. Secure that back on here. And that's that. Uh, I would have to agree, it is a bit of an annoying build, it's very tight. Uh, in fact, when Randy, our lead tech, built this for the first time, he was swearing and he ran into the exact same problems that Joshua ran into and that I ran into when I built it first. You know, if, I think this video will help with a couple of tips there, as well as Joshua's video will help guys have a bit of an idea of what the challenges are in building this little guy, because it's very tight. Alright, thank you very much. Cheers.